Hi, I'm Bernie Slavin and you're watching Butler Sports TV. Butler and welcome to Butler Sport TV's exclusive coverage of tonight's Ernest Armstrong Cup quarter-final tie between Thornaby and Norton and Stockton Ancients from Teesdale Park. Both of these two local rivals will be hoping to figure in a Division 2 promotion race this season, but league form and local rivalry can be pushed to one side tonight with a place in the Cup semi-final up for grabs. Stay tuned for match coverage to follow. Host Thornaby are unbeaten in their last four matches and have lost just twice here at Teesdale Park all season. To reach this stage they beat Stokesley on penalties and a good away win at Heaton Stannington. Norton, who currently sit in second place, arrive on the back of a run of just one defeat from their last ten matches. The key to their success has been their away form with just three defeats on the road all season. To reach this stage they beat Rye Hope 4-0 and Wickham on penalties. So this is the Ernest Armstrong Cup quarter-final tie between Thornaby and Norton and Stockton Ancients Norton from Teesdale Park. Tonight. Stay Good tuned goal. for highlights to follow. David Knight. So today, for Thornaby, Clinton MacDonald. So it's um, Thornaby who kick off in the blue strip, attacking the goal to our left in this first half. Both teams are looking to get to the semi-final. Now here comes Thornaby with their first attack. It's Danny Lambert with a great chance and that's a great save there from David Knight in the Norton goal. That was a good opportunity there to give Thornaby an early lead but it's a good save. Here comes Thornaby again, they've started this game quite brightly. And it's a shot there from uh, Jamie Bellaby, chips into the box. It's called to Jamie Clark and it's uh, no the referee's already blown. I think it's offside or is it a foul? It's not going to count. Jamie Clark's finished there, but it won't count. Oh, here come Norton now. It's uh, Anthony Hume plays it through to Gary Mitchell. He's beat his man. Gary Mitchell finishes it and they're posting this one 0 to Norton. Nine minutes gone. It's touched in against the run of play, but it's Norton with the early goal. Really good finish there from Mitchell. Um, he cut inside and it's a good finish there at the near post. And it's an early lead for for Norton. The second in the league and um, maybe started slight favourites and they're in front. Nine minutes gone, one nil. Here come Norton again, looking for uh, another goal. It's a good ball down the uh, down left hand side. There's Tom Bly plays it into the box. Oh, and it's an own goal. It's an own goal there. Phil Halsman. It looked as though Anthony Hume was going to score anyway, but Halsman put it into his own net. Norton have doubled their lead after half an hour. It was a good ball in there from the left hand side from Tom Bly. And um, poor Phil Haldeman there trying to get the ball clear, could only divert into his own net. And it's now 2 0 to Norton. Thornaby now they look for a response. It's, uh, it's Danny Loft with a good shot, and what a good save that is again from Knight. Pushes him, pushes it around the post there, a good save down to his left hand side. It was a good strike from Loft as well, and that's kept it at 2 0. Here comes Fly again down his left hand side. He's had quite a lot of joy down there in his first half. Puts the ball in the box, not particularly good cross this time. And Thornaby can, um, can get it clear, but they haven't really. It's Fly again. Puts the ball back into the box. And again it's cleared. Falls to Harrison Davis. What can he do here? And then he, he tries a shot there. Kills it in and it's in. It's 3-0. It's a lovely finish there from Davis. On the stroke of half time. And surely now that's Norton in the semi-final. It's going to take uh, something special now for Thornaby to come back from this. And that's a great finish there from Harrison Davis. Curled it in from the edge of the box. Left the keeper with no chance there. And it's 3-0. And that's half time here. It's Thornaby 0. Norton and Stockton Ancient 3. Ball back into the box there. Thornaby looking to get an early goal. It's Holzman with a header. Oh, and Lofton quite got on the end of it. 
and David Knights has uh, got the ball again. Like I'm Norton now, can they, uh, can they get a fourth goal as the shot comes in and that's a good save there from Michael Duff in the uh, Thornaby goal. And Thornaby again, they started the second half quite brightly, but that wasn't such a good play. Oh, he's giving it away on the edge of the box there, and it's the shot there comes in, and it was Craig Ruddy with the effort, but it was quite easy there for Knights, who's made another good save. He's having a good game, it's Norton goalkeeper tonight. And here come Thornaby again, it's Joe Melville plays it forward, it's Craig Ruddy again, he's having a lot more influence in this second half. Throws the ball out wide to Jamie Clark, and that's another effort. Oh, and again, it's a bit too close to the keeper, but his handling's good again, and it stays 3-0. There we come, uh, Fornaby again. Was that a foul? No, the ref has play on. It's Ruddy again, going to try his shot from distance. And that's another save from Knight. Now, Fornaby again, coming down this left-hand side. The ball's played back in. It's Joe Melville. Can he get a shot away? He can, and oh, he's beaten Knight this time, and it's 3-1. Fornaby have a goal back. 20 minutes to go. He's to come back on. He took his time there, did Melville, and he's finished it well, put it into the corner, and it's 3-1, and maybe it's game on now. Going to be again, if they can score another goal here, could make it an interesting last 15 minutes. He's cleared away to halfway, put back in towards the Norton penalty area. That's a good bit of play there, falls back to Craig Ruddy, he's going to try a shot again, is he? Oh, and that's another good save from Knight, again, maybe the shot's a little bit too close to him. Going to be threatening a comeback here. Ball's played wide here, it's Lee Farrington for Norton down his left hand side. That's a good ball to uh, Harrison Davis. Can he finish? No, he's played it across the goal. And it's Nicky Martin with the finish and it's 4-1 and surely now that's it. That'll be game set and match to Norton. They'll be in the semi-final. Goal on the breakaway there. It's been all formed to be for the last 10 minutes but Norton break out to get the goal. Well finished there from Nicky Martin. It was a good ball across from, uh, from Davis who of course got the last goal. There is uh, Martin again, down his right hand side, that's a good cross, he finds Harrison Davis, what's he going to do? He's tried to chip him, oh that's a marvellous goal, Harrison Davis makes it 5-1 and that's a great finish, took his time, chipped the keeper, that is a great goal, it makes it 5-1, it's kept a good performance from Davis tonight, and a good performance from Norton, and surely that now is their place in the semi-final, 5-1. Can Fornaby get a consolation here? Oh, the ball's in the box there, no one could get a touch. Not quite Fornaby's night. It's Davis again, that's a good ball out wide there. It's um, Anthony Hume, can he get a goal? Just the keeper to beat. Takes it round him, oh, and he's gone into the side netting. There's a chance there to make it six, that would have maybe been harsh on Fornaby, but he's missed it, he's gone wide. Now can Fornaby get a goal there in the closing stages? It's uh, Matthew Robinson down his left hand side. That's a good cross into the box there. Craig Ruddy's header. Oh, and Lost couldn't get a touch. The keeper's got it safe. And that's full time. It's finished here. Four to be one. Norton and Stockton Ancients. A good victory there for Norton. And um, they'll go into the semi finals. And stay tuned for match reaction to follow. Um, yeah, I think we, we going forward will be fantastic. Um, I think if they just got the first chance in the first 10 minutes, maybe it might have been different, but we, we after that, the last 30 minutes of the first half, we dominated the game and scored three excellent goals. It probably could have been three, four or five, but um, second half as well, we scored some great goals. Disappointed to let the goal in the end, but you can't win them all. You know, it's, it's, it's a solid display. And to score five goals away from home against a, a local rival is fantastic, but to get in the semi-final, that's, that's the most important thing. Obviously, in the second half, they came at you a bit, didn't they, for a, for a while at the start there, and put you on a bit more pressure than they had done. Yeah, well, we expected that. That's what we spoke about at half time that they had to come and come and see what they got. And if they got an early goal, maybe it would have been different. But with the, to score the goal with 15 minutes to go, it was uh, it's difficult for them to get three back, I think. But we and the left gaps at, at, at the end, what, what we punished them with with uh, two great goals, really. Yeah, so all, all five goals were well taken, weren't they? Well, well made, well made, and well taken. Yeah, we've been creating chances for weeks. It's just putting that ball in the net, and uh, I think uh, Harrison Davies tonight was superb, and his his, his, his goals were out of this world and you see top players scoring them goals they get they get raved about but I'm, I'm so glad that he videoed it because it's, 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 it's goals what people need to see because it's uh, it's good play and Nicky as well he can come off the bench and scored a, scored a good finish yeah well I'd say we're firing on both cylinders and we, we're, we're not going to stop and I'm not going to let the lads uh, give in or anything as I said Billingham Town won tonight so they're in the semi-final and uh, Team North are in the semi-finals and the game tomorrow so uh, we're just happy to be in the in the draw and uh, any, any, any game now is going to be a tough game but we, 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 we want to get in the final and I'll, I'll be doing everything we can to get this club in the final. So you lost 5-1 in the end there, but you must have been pleased with the second half performance at least. 
Only as far as that we got ourselves back into the game and, and we wanted to at least win the second half, get a goal and make a difference. But we were beaten by a better organised side, you know, fair play to Norton. They, they got the ball when they got it, they used it well. We didn't, we tended to give it away too easy. We we got in and around the box, but we didn't have that final quality to um, beat their keeper. They're an organised side, they've got a set up and they play and they get around your players when they've got the ball and make it very difficult. And we just didn't have that craft and that guile to beat it tonight. And they seem to have that extra, didn't they, in the final third at the other end as well, didn't they? Yes, yeah, and that's that's always the signs of good teams. We found that when we played CM Red Star. Even when we put them under the cosh, we started very brightly and had a good 10, 15 minutes until they scored. And then immediately they came up the pitch, they used the ball well. Lad moved it, moved it from out of his feet and, and you know beat the keeper by the near post. It's it's unfortunately it's the fine margins in football that we get in the box first five minutes, strike it straight at the keeper, you know, and um, he doesn't have to work that hard. It's it's just a hard lesson. I don't think five one really reflected the game as a whole though, did it? No, but honestly, I think in, I think their play, they were clearly the stronger and, 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 and better side. Uh, it's disappointing when you, you, you know, you're looking after a team that d- doesn't perform, because we can play very well. We played well in patches. Um, we played well sort of five, 15 minutes of the second half, but we just didn't put our foot on the ball well enough to make the telling pass and to get the, um, the final opportunity in front of goal. We thought we were just passing it a bit square in the first half and moving it from side to side. We needed to get it into their areas quicker. Um, you know, one or two of the midfield players, you know, people of the quality, Craig Ruddy and the like, who you can get the ball to and can travel with, make and make a difference. But it's finishing that you know kills us at the end of the day. If we don't take our chances. We we stuck. You know, we we put a lot of effort in. Jamie Clark puts himself about, tries to get chances for the other. Um, just just difference on the night. You know, five one is is a harsh score, but uh, you know we were beaten by the better team.